Hi to everyone. Today we'll try to discuss about the overlays, various types of the overlays we'll draw based on the uh, GIS uh, operating GIS. Okay, this overlay operations, overlay operations combine the geographical geogrammetrics and attributes of the two, fe two features of the layers to create an output. That means uh, you are going to see, see, see a simple example one and two plus A and B. This horizontal two rows and the vertical two columns are uh, clubbed together, making it as a uh, two, four columns, and then that is one A and one B, and then two A and two B. This is one of the overlay combination. Why they wanted to make it as a overlay combination? Entire geographical information will be in the form of the data where you are going to make the combination of this one in the form of a relational database or maybe in the form of an object relational database or in the form of an overlay signal. Overlay combines the geometrics and attributes from two layers into a single layer. Uh, the dashed lines are for uh, illustration only, uh, illustration only uh, and are not included in the output. Okay, but now we'll try to see about the feature types and the overlays. Overlays operations can take, you have two types, three types we have to say that one is in the form of a, a line, point, polygon or point layers as the inputs and create an output as a lower dimension feature type. For example, given the inputs of the polygon and line layers, the output will be a, a line layer. Without going through all the different combinations of the feature types, this section will be point in polygon, line in polygon and then a polygon polygon all to distinguish the layers in the following discussion the layer must be in the form of a point or it is in a polygon layer or it is in the form of an input layer such that you are going to draw a overlay layer by means of a point in polygon or maybe point in polygon line or maybe the point in point in polygon line like that you will be able to draw this one see here one plus and two plus plus a b it has been given that means two b you will try to get it and then one plus a it will be that means it will be overlaid one oval shape will be overlaid and another overlay shape such that you will get it as a one a two one a and two a in a line in polygon overlay operation the output contains the same line features as the input layer but each line feature is uh, dissected by the polygon on the overlay layer. Thus, the output has more line segments than the uh, input layer. See, what they wanted to explain is nothing but you have the overlay on one and the other by making use of the boundaries. Okay. Each line segment on the output combines the attributes from the input layer and the underlying. For example, we'll try to go for the this particular uh, line in polygon overlay. The input is a line layer. The output is also a line layer. You have one plus A and B and it will be combined it as a 1a and then the uh, 1b here you have a diagonal way of distributing the data in an in one particular polygon as only one in another polygon you have the two lay two data that is a and b and it has been the output will be one line layer it has been given maybe the diagram will explain it very easily here also 1a 1 and 2 plus a, a and b and both the rows and the columns are combined together and you will be able to get it as called as a it is a four layers it has become now and the first layer is one year second layer is nothing but one b and third is two a and fourth is two b or you can say that one a two a and then one b or two b you are going to call that one called as a single polygonal layer overlay methods various types of the overlay methods we will try to see this one we will have the union intersection and then you have the r, r connector will be there and for example you have the and connector will be there you have the xr connector will be there okay you have the symmetrical difference or differences using the xr here you are, you are going to see this one see for example here um, the union method is nothing but it will it will uh, uh, do the union from the two rows with the two columns in the form of a uh, two rows and then the four columns has been done in the form of a, a union if it is an intersection method so now you will have the intersection only the common data that means it will capture only the two rows and two columns uh, two rows
it will not go for the four columns that is because of the intersector method it preserves only the uh, common area between both the uh, between both the layers and it, that layer only it will be given it as called as a output layer thank you so much